What's going on traders? It's your boy Matt back at you again with another trading related video. The topic of today's video is market scanners. So we're going to be talking about which market scanner that I use, what are the settings of the market scanners, and how do I use these market scanners to implement my trading strategy every single day and how I manage to make a thousand dollars a day. This is one of the most important tools that I use. Uh, anyway, the market scanner that I use is uh, Trade Ideas. Uh, the simple reason why I use it is because of this one specific thing that they have, which is a momentum scanner. Uh, I have used in the past, you know, uh, stocks to trade, uh, equity feed. Uh, they're great on their own way. They're great on their own way. They have strength, uh, but uh, they don't have this kind of Momo scanner in them. Uh, anyway, uh, let's just get right into it and uh, talk about some of the settings. Okay, so this one right here is a Momo scanner. What that is is you now if, if a stock is going higher fast, all right, with a lot of volume, a surge of volume, and a surge of price going higher, this would notify me. Uh, the second one that I have is a Gapper. This is the scanner that I look at every time I come to the market in the morning. This is the first thing that I look at. Now the purpose of this market, this window right here, is basically to let me know which stocks gupping up. Market. So, so let's say news comes out overnight and the price is up. Now this will tell me stocks that are up on a day before market open pre-market and how much they're up and what are the volumes pre-market, right? Uh, and this one right here is exactly like the Momo scanner. Uh, if something is going fast with a lot of volume, uh, this would notify me, but the timing for this is different. This shows me if something is going crazy pre-market or after market. If something is going ballistic, it's, it's doubling up 100% to 100%, uh, it's picking up a lot of volume, it's picking up a lot of momentum. This is pre- and post-market momentum scanner. And this one right here is stock halts. Uh, what this one does is if there is a stock that is halted, uh, meaning that if uh, you know stock moves irrationally, the government would step in and pause the trading for five minutes to let everybody settle and figure out. Or if there's a news coming out, uh, the government would step in and pause it pending the news, right? Or if something is moving dramatically, two, three hundred, a thousand percent, and no one knows why it's moving up, it might be manipulated. So what the SEC, the government body that regulates the stock market, would pause it. They would come in and they go and ask the company, okay, why is the price going up? And they're trying to figure that out. Uh, and this one right here is basically the same as the market gappers, but this would show me stocks that are that are gapping down. So this would show me stocks that are going now. Let's say uh, bad news comes out overnight. The CEO is trying to resign. Uh, this market and the price is falling. This market scanner would let me know. Okay, my the price of this stock is falling uh, by this amount with this much amount of volume, right? And this one right here is a momentum scanner, similar to this but to the downside, if something is dropping down with momentum dramatically. So the difference between this momentum scanner and the gappers, the momentum scanners, you, you set in a criteria and every time a criteria is hit, let's say you set that price to 30 cents, every time it sees a new high with 30 cents, this market scanner would let you know. Uh, anyway, I understand this could be overwhelming for you know someone uh, who hasn't traded or if you're new to this, uh, but I promise you this is very simple to understand and we'll just go through the same. Okay, so the first one, uh, for momentum scanner is basically I have multiple strategies that are combined in one window. The way you do that, you go new and you can have multi, you can have multi-strategy windows, meaning you can combine different settings into one to show you one window. So rather than having ten separate windows for ten different settings, you can just have them in one window, right? And right here, uh, right-click strategies, we'll show you. You can see I have all of this. So let's talk about the first one, which is high volume, low flow. Uh, momentum. So you go configure. Basically, what I want to see here is I want to see when the stock is hitting a new high, but I don't want to see every anything and everything that's in a new high. I need to specify it, right? And that specification is here. So I want the float, the float meaning the tradable amount of shares that are out there. I want it to be below 10 million for this very specific window. And the price, I want it to be between $1 and $10. If it's $11, I don't want to see it there. I want to see it somewhere else, but not, not in the... And the volume is between 300 and 2,000% in five minutes. Uh, the relative volumes to 50-minute uh, range. So within 15 minutes, at least it needs to move 30 cents. And today's volume is 40,000. So if today's volume is 30,000 or the price, is, the price is at 11, I wouldn't be able to see it in this particular window. And there's a reason why I have it, you know, specific to that. Uh, and I mean the other ones I have multiple strategies in this ones and you know the other ones would have the same, th same thing as well uh, let's go to the gapper 
the gap per one configure with the gap per one is pretty simple what i want to see is a price between a dollar and thirty dollars and i want to see anything and everything uh, that is up five percent or down five percent so if it's up two percent or down two percent i don't want to see it it needs to be above five percent to the upside or down or below five percent so it needs to be negative six percent for me to see it or positive six percent for me to see it if it's anything within that i don't want to see it uh and basically the, with the pre-market momo scanners the setting is pretty similar except that the timing is different i want to see it pre-market and aftermarket the halt is similar uh, basically settings configure and uh you know the alert is halt so this is where you search the alert so you put in do you want to see a new high do you want to see a new low that's where you specify the actual alert uh, for me it's halt on this particular window and the price is above 50 cents and uh, the volume on the day is 40,000 right if the price is you know 30 cents or the volume is 30,000 I won't be able to see it and I don't want to see it and this one here the gapper is exactly similar the setting similar to that except the opposite it's flipped so I want to see stocks that are going down right uh, this one is similar to that so this one is similar thing to that so the the main difference between the momentum scanners and the gapper scanners the momentum scanners you set in a criteria say you want to see it hit a new high every time and you want to see it a new high and that new high is let's say 30 cents or 20 cents uh, with a given amount of volume and every time the stock goes up 30 cents with that amount of given volume it will notify you over and over and over again as long as the stock is kept doing that whereas the gapper if something is gapped up let's say oh this thing gapped up 10% Right? If it gaps 11%, it would just say, it would just automatically update it. It says, oh, it gapped up today 11%, right? Now, you guys don't have to come up with all of these settings and you know, trying to figure all these things out. I already have. Uh, so the simplest way to do it is you can go you can go to File, Load from Cloud, and I would be able to give you a link. So I'll give you the link for all of these settings and all these criteria. What you got to do is you copy the link and you paste it right here where it says, uh, you know, enter the URL. And basically, you'll be able to have all of this would pop up on your screens. You could you'll be able to have all of this on your screens. Uh, that's the simplest way to do it. Now, let's talk about some of the the, the, the settings that they have here. When a alert window is basically the same thing as the, the momentum scanners. When something hits a specific criteria and over and over again, it would alert you to it. Uh, topless window. This is uh, you know the scanner that comes with uh, Trade Ideas itself. So top gainers top percentage gainers, weekly gainers, and stuff like that. Uh, so they have they have some good scanners here as well, uh, but I like to use my own. Uh, a single stock window, uh, basically is this one here. This one gives you a detailed description of whatever particular stock that you're looking at. So let's say, uh, let's look at OBLN. Uh, it would automatically tell you, you know, OBLN, the detail of it, the float, uh, the short float, uh, change since January, if you wanna know the news, a portfolio what kind of manufacturer they are what kind of you know what kind of manufacturer they are and all those depth uh, information that you want to know will show you here uh, which kind of uh, you know and, uh, and if if insiders bought some shares it would show you uh, where they bought how many shares and for what price um, and the next one right here and the next one here is the chart window if you want to see chart window price alert window is basically you set a price alert and it would just let you know those price alerts um, the one of the really cool thing that they have here and I actually use on a daily basis is an external linking. Now, what an external linking is basically you can link your trading platform to your market scanner platform and it would automatically populate. So let, let's do it. So you add link and then you right click on the level two or the chart window of your uh, broker's platform and then you press shift here and then and you click down here and you'll be able to select which platform trading platform you're using once you select which trading platform you're using you click OK and then and then let's check it out so if I click on Kodak for example you see Kodak automatically populates uh, if I click something here if I click something here automatically populates meaning that something is hitting the market scanner so something is going dramatically and it's popping up and it's just moving fast. You don't have to hurry up to type it in and stuff like that. You just click on it, it automatically it populates your trading strategy and you're good to go to trade, right? This is helpful. And also on here, it would actually show you, uh, you know, how many floats they have, what are the volumes they're moving out, all the, all of the other useful information that you need to know to be able to be able to go in and out. Now, the way you guys are gonna get all of the, all of my settings is 
go over Twitter. If you don't have one, make a Twitter account. Follow me on Twitter. It's Matt, M-A-T-T, 3G3 is my Twitter name. Uh, uh, follow me on Twitter and ask me for the link to give you all of the trading settings that I have. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I hope uh, you've learned something from this video and you get something from this video. Uh, and I appreciate you watching. If 